Hi Scorpio, welcome back guys. We are looking at what is he hiding from you. And we wanna see what he's hiding from you. This is a timeless read. What is he hiding from Scorpio? What is he hiding from Scorpio? Hmm, okay. We have separation in reverse. So he's hiding that he don't wanna be separated from you no much, no longer, okay? It says sadness, bitterness, missing you, thinking about you, uncertain future. Okay, he don't want to be separated from you no more. He's also hiding that he's been stabbed in the back. It says um, heartbreak and pain, separation and loss, deception and lies, shocking attack. Okay. Oh my goodness. All right. So he got stabbed in the back from this karmic, this third party snake energy here. It says competition and in enemy. Um, the other woman, look over your shoulders. says cupid's arrow have faith love is coming in love is coming surprising invitation struck by love the last one it says healing heart it says healing heartbreak toxicity or addiction abusive relationship at the bottom of the deck yeah there's a lot of hearts here this person really loves you but they're they had some kind of heartbreak from um this snake energy the third the third party okay or the, the woman the other woman she stabbed him in the back okay it says heartbroken it says deeply deeply hurt and sad feeling lost grieving in despair breakup wow guys okay so this person is in separation from you guys are not speaking take it as applied this may or may not resonate okay and if you are in separation um this person don't want to be in separation no longer with this card here separation in reverse they want to come back they want to communicate with you they want to see you um they are they are going to also talk about the this third party energy stab them in the back i also feel that she's watching you i don't know if you guys know this third party she's watching you okay if she know about you, she's watching you. What does he want to tell you right now? It says, I do not react when people mention you. Yeah, because this karmic is crazy. I'm picking up. She's crazy, okay? There's some really weird energy from her. The, whoever you're, um, whoever he was dealing with, she was more than a snake, okay? She's pure evil. All right, Scorpio, what is your person hiding from you? What is he hiding from you? Um, it says, I wish I had treated you better. It says, I couldn't let you get close to me. It says, sometimes I stay away thinking about you. And it says, just being near you is tox intoxicating. At the bottom of the deck. We have, I left when I saw you with someone. Now this, you know, take it as a pie. This may or may not resonate. You know, he could have actually saw you with someone by spying on you, okay? For others of you guys, he's just thinking this. This is just in his thoughts, okay? He thinks you're with someone. It's the word think. He thinks you're with someone, not you actually are with someone. He thinks this. He's thinking it. What is the last one? It says the timing just wasn't right for us. Okay. What else does he want to say to you? What else is he hiding from the situational deck? What is he hiding from Scorpio? Okay, there's some kind of gossip going on at the moment about you it says petty jealousy envy it says soul okay they're also hiding that they're moving they could have moved location physical location change they could have moved somewhere they could have sold a property or they could have sold a house they also feel threatened by you okay it says embarrassed embarrassed appearances they may feel you don't like the way they look or something. They could feel insecure right now is what they're hiding. Um, Scorpio, what is this person hiding from you? Anything else from this deck? Oh, what is this? 
It says interlude. It says pause timing factor. The bottom of the deck, we have love. Okay, so they're taking a break, some kind of pause, which we saw separation here. So during that separation, though, they're, they're still adoring you, admiring you, enchantment. Okay, they're still feeling um, this love for you. Look at that, yeah. Desire. Lust and sexual chemistry. Something about the weather, too. Okay, so rain. I don't know why I was getting, like, rain or something. Maybe they yeah. So, they yeah, I'm hearing kiss you in the rain. So, maybe you guys already had a kiss like that. Or is that what's going to happen in the future? Um, they, this person could come around you when the weather is bad, when it's raining. Yeah, look at that, though. See? I mean, he could probably want to kiss you out in the rain. Or something about water, okay? Um... Hmm. Yeah, like water. He could want to kiss you out in um, the rain or water or um, I don't know. He is something with water and being intimate with you. Okay, from the Yin Yang Oracle, what does he want to say? What is he hiding? What is this person hiding from Scorpio? What is he hiding from Scorpio? Okay, we have memories. Something about the weather, guys. Again, nostalgic. Nostalgical. I don't even know what that word is. Nostalgic. I'm going to go with that word. I'm going to say that. Say it that way. Okay, they're still thinking about you, reminiscing about you. It says receive, um, open. So they're open to receive. Okay, they're ready to love again. We have Pluto energy here, which is the death card. Okay, so Pluto's the ruler over Scorpio. And this is your energy, Scorpio. Ooh, you could be dealing with another Scorpio. You also could be um, dealing with the um, house of the eighth house, okay? The planet Scorpio that it's residing in. You, you could be dealing with the 8th house energy. So that's death endings, um, taxes, other people's money. Someone could also want to give you some money. I did pick that up as well. Um, but so you could be dealing with this person in the 8th house energies here. Um, yeah. Hmm. So we have rejection, loss, and fragmented. Oh, it says Pluto. It says transformation at the bottom. I don't know if I let you guys see that. Transformation. This person has really changed after going through this, um, you know, this backstabbing. We have third eye. Clarity. Yeah, that's why they see something totally different right now with these two cards. Okay, with Pluto, um, third eye. And transformation and clarity, something's very dead, okay? And as you notice, they ended up right under the snake. They see the truth about this this um, karmic. She's a snake. They see the truth about it, okay? At the bottom of the deck, we have Mercury, uh, messages and travel and communication. Yeah, so these two houses are going to be highlighted with this card. It's going to be Gemini, which is the third house, and also Virgo, which is the sixth house. Um, Gemini, third house is communications, okay, Mercury's energy. And then we also have uh, Virgo, which is the sixth house, is highlighted as well for you guys. Um, Scorpio, um, which is work and health. And travel. Hmm. Maybe this person is coming at um, a distance as well. Uh, maybe they have to take some kind of forms of transportation to get to you. But they're coming in. Okay. Yeah, I feel like um, this third party knows about you guys. Okay. And that's why gossip is there. I do feel that she is aware of you. Um, you're not the third party, okay? She is, but she's trying to twist things around, I feel, through gossip, okay? You guys get me? She's gossiping to her 
people or it may be his people if she know his family members she's just trying to spread rumors gossip she's trying to bring down someone's reputation your reputation or something like that she's she's hateful despiteful um energy here okay guys let's see how your guy is feeling right now how's he feeling towards scorpio right now how's this person feeling towards scorpio right now how is he feeling towards scorpio one card okay positive it says i am inspired motivated and proactive proactive um i make these best out of every situation i make the best out of every situation hmm okay so around this positive energy that's why they're trying to be positive it says we're weary okay it says on guard your person's on guard but at the same time they're trying to keep a positive mindset a positive outlook upon life and their future okay so that's all i have for you guys scorpio um i hope something uh, made sense to you guys or i hope you guys could find some answers through this uh read until next time take care